No hiding Tiger Woods this past week. He was all over the place. We saw him. He spent the week as the assistant captain for the U.S. squad. In a press conference, Tiger said he can definitely see a scenario where he doesn't return to competitive golf. Pretty surprising hearing that uh, frank comment coming from Tiger at this point. Um, what do you think? He's been away from the course almost two years now. Does the game need him to come back, or are we all kind of moving on at this point? No, not moving. We've moved on. I mean, it's past tense. It's happened. Uh, the game is in a great place with all these young stars. And um, I thought that was, it, I agree, it was surprising for Tiger to be candid. He has no history of that, but it was it was healthy. You know, he, he always set himself up as uh, kind of this, the Terminator, right? He, he could never admit pain or weakness, and he could never be real about his body or his injuries or what he was struggling with. And I think that's part of where Tiger lost his way. You know, the, 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 the public facade was so different than the private reality. And for Tiger to be candid and say, you know, I'm not sure I'm going to make it back. The, it's a tall mountain to climb. You know, I think, I think that was a step in the right direction for him just as a human being. Um, I, don't, I don't think he's ever going to play competitive golf again in a meaningful way. If he were to somehow come back and win a golf tournament, it would be the greatest accomplishment of his career. Uh, so that 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 is how tall the mountain really is. So I, I think it's time to think of Tiger as an elder statesman, as an honorary figure, as a fun guy to have around at these team events and running his foundation and, and all these other things. But um, it, it's a shame it happened to him when he's in his early 40s instead of, you know, in his 70s when it should have. But that, that's just where Tiger is. I mean, he, he's strictly a ceremonial figure in my mind. And, and Jeff, the point Alan makes, it, it seems like Tiger has embraced this role. Hearing him speak really opened my eyes to, to where he's at and, and, and uh, you know, how honest he seems to be being with himself at this point. I mean, the fact that he that he was willing to admit that at a, at a press conference and that type of forum tells you that this is a reality and that he's starting to get there even himself, that this may be the end of the line. But I, I think this glimpse that we're getting of Tiger as elder statesman, it's not bad. He can still have a big impact on the game of golf. I mean, it's not just team events. His foundation can do a lot more with him fully engaged in it. And I just think that as one of the biggest stars, or probably the biggest star the game's ever known, there's a lot he can do to still help the game besides play golf. And, and you know, especially if he has to play the way that he's played the last couple of years through injuries, no one wants to see that again. Bro, what do you think? Are you buying it that the Tigers embrace this new role? I don't think so. I, I think from an ego perspective, he can't handle it. Like watching him uh, at the President's Cup, he reminded me of that like Matthew McConaughey character in Days and Confused, like just kind of hanging out the big brother, kind of you take him seriously because he's got a little cachet with the women and he's been the guy. But I think he still wants to beat those guys. And I think, you know, Alan was saying like the ceremonial figure, he will never be, he won't do the Arnold Palmer thing. God rest his soul, where he pl continues playing and can't hit the ball anywhere. But I think we'll see him play the Masters and the Open Championship and probably a smattering of other events, five, six, eight events a year, I think. Yeah, we'll see if we see him this coming season. As of now, he says he's hit the ball 60 yards. That's as far as it's gotten.